We're all very interested here in what we're going to do with technology in the future and what do things like cobots mean uh, going into the future. Imagine if all those conversations we had, all that text that we wrote, all of, all of those diagrams we drew, I took those out of my top drawer, I put them back on the table in front of us, okay? Not only did I understand it, but you understood it, and you definitely understood it, okay? And, but we also had a cobot that could understand those, that as well. And if the cobot could understand that, then the cobot could then go ahead and write a huge amount of code for us as part of that process. So that's, that's the value proposition we're looking at. How do we make this cobot a valuable member at this round table we're all working together? All right, so what can this cobot do for us? Okay, at the moment, our cobot delivers for us over 90% of our code base for our existing customers. So instead of having a human doing all of this repetitive code, what we've got is we've got a bot that's going to do it for us and we're going to raise the quality of the software. All right, we all want to get from where we are with our ideas and the things we want to do, we want to start iterating faster and we want to get to market early. Get to market early with our MVP and test the market. So we need to get there as quick as we can. And finally, we have maximum control. So instead of that poor little guy, the developer down the bottom that's getting chased by everyone, we want everyone to equally contribute to the software application. So both the technical and the non-technical stakeholders have an equal contribution. So there's LampBot here. And what you're seeing here is a visual representation of the bot writing code across the file system. Okay, so LampBot, as you can see, that's like the directory and file structure within that. And at that point in time, there we go, huzzah, the build is complete. Yoo For this particular build here, uh, LampBot uh, just wrote um, uh, 11,000 uh, lines of code uh, in, what was that, like uh, five seconds based on those changes. For, for a software engineer to write about 11,000 lines of code, we're talking quite a few days worth of effort uh, to get to that point. So you can see the, the value gain uh, already on what's going there. What we're doing is we're not creating a new software development methodology. We're creating something that is complementary to Agile. Okay, so we're not trying to create something new on that front. It's always got to be complementary to Agile and that sort of best practice. Second up, the bots will always be trying to go for 100%, but they don't expect it. So what that means is for your businesses, okay, the true IP, okay, the true intellectual property, um, the, the true business problem that you're solving, you can still do, a developer can still jump in there and, and get that done for you, and the bots do all the heavy lifting.